And let's just see the comments. Your hair looks amazing, well done. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and comment down below on what you think to this. So this is, this is, so this is part two of the last video that I did. So I did a reaction video to, uh, what is her name? Jazz. Come on, let's have a look. Jasmine Carter. Shout out to Jasmine Carter. I'll put her, her channel down below so you can go and check out what she gets up to. But I've literally, I come across her last video in the video before uh, and she was colouring her hair with a box dye level 8. And now she's done another one. And this is brunette to blonde, dyeing my hair blonde again. Garnier Olia 110 super light blonde. Now what I said in the last video is colour doesn't lift colour. Um, so it's literally going to do nothing. I haven't watched it. I'm watching it with you guys. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it and just uh, see what she gets up to because I'm very intrigued. Last video she was left with orange roots and sort of khaki mid lengths and ends. Go and check that video out. I'll link it up here so you can go and check it out. Um, but I explained why she got orange roots and I predicted the outcome because I'm a hairdresser. Let's get into this video, shall we? Hi guys, it's Yaz and welcome back to my channel. Can you hear? What's up? Hello. I hope you subscribe, stick around for more. In today's video, we're gonna fix my hair. If you haven't already seen my previous video where I basically tried to dye my hair, a slightly darker blonde, um, I'm gonna attempt to fix what I did, um, which I'm not really sure, but it wasn't okay. I mean, look at this. Look at these roots. They are like, let's be honest, they are open, they are orange, I'm not a big fan. Basically, what I'm getting at here is I'm like the complete wrong shades of everything. I'm too warm at the top and too cool at the bottom. So what better way to fix than to put more on it? So. Do you know what though? I quite like that colour on her, the, the, the copper. I think if she went all over copper, I think she would really suit it. So I have bought, I actually bought two. Olea, permanent hair colour, no ammonia, 60% oils, 110. I don't know anything about these colours. I'm not a box colourist. But no ammonia, and it's a high level blonde, I can predict. It's not going to really do much on her roots, really. It'll probably open up the cuticle to release some of the, the old colour. It's not going to do it's not going to do what she wants. And if it does, I'll eat this hat. Um, if she puts on a mid-lefts and ends, it's high-level blonde. It will probably cause quite a bit of damage. Maybe dry it out a bit. Maybe make it a little bit too ashy. She might be left with a lot of blue tones or purple tones, depending on what the underlying tone is for this hair colour. Um, but no ammonia. Um, there is another agent in there, potentially. I don't know these colours, but from what we do, uh, it's called MEA. And MEA is just another form of lifting agent that can only really be stopped by ammonia. It keeps on uh, going and going and going. Whereas ammonia has a lifespan, it sort of lifts and then stops. So, yeah, I'm excited to see. Not really excited, but you know what I mean. Again, because you guys know my hair is super long. This is Garnier Olea. Olea? Olea? Only uh, something, okay. But it's gone, yeah, and basically, this is uh, no ammonia, because I, I, I researched that, and apparently that's really bad for you, so I, I got no ammonia this time. Super light, natural blonde. So this one is, so this is 110, so hopefully it'll be okay. It also says that it's neutral, so it's like in between the warm and the cool, so I'm like, maybe that's a balance it out. Uh, I think that's exactly what the other color was. It was an 8.0, an 8 natural, an 8 neutral. Um, this is just a super high lift neutral, so it's going to be potentially a blue base. It's probably going to have a little bit of, maybe a little bit of violet in there, maybe a little bit of green in there to stop um, like the, the reds and, and oranges sort of happening. Um, but yeah, like I said, I know nothing about these box dyes, and let's just see what it does. This is what I want to be. I want to be this nice, nice vanilla -y, golden goldenish, natural looking one. Basically, what I was you know, naturally, and uh, I feel like if I go the lighter this time, I should have started with the lighter version and then like, eventually got darker. I'll show you before from behind, so you can see. Khaki. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's just a little bit not okay. It's just all wrong. Um, yeah, in hindsight, I should have just bleached my roots, but 
It's okay, now we know. I also have my fake hand squat, so that's why I look a little bit pale and my hair looks probably even darker than what it is. But it's okay. So, first thing we'll be needing today is a pair of gloves, you know, never under a Safety first. I've opened the window this time because uh, I'm pretty sure I like nearly gassed myself out on all the fumes that's coming out. Because we played by the rules last time and that didn't work out for us, so maybe if we go against them, it might work out better. This time we have three different things that we're we'll mixing, so that's interesting. <laughs> Okay, so we have a bowl and our hair mask thing and our hair spatchy thing. So this is our cream developer, this is number one, and then we have our colouring cream which is number two. See one of the things with box dyes is that they never put percentages on or of like developers. It's always like, oh this is step one, this is step two, and it's like paint by numbers. Oh there's number one, number two, there we go. Whereas when we're in the salon, we have to literally formulate everything, understand the underlying pigment of your hair, uh, know what we're going to be working against, what we're going to uh, is our end outcome. Whereas this is just like people sort of put a box to their head and like, oh yeah, I quite like that. Oh, that is really thick compared to a lot of the ones I've used. I really hope this goes well because I'm planning on going out to the salon tomorrow and I'm using the wheel. I feel like the moral of this story is don't just do something because you feel like it. Really think about it. Absorb it. Maybe even like Photoshop it on your head and think, would this colour really suit me? And then when it doesn't, just be grateful that you didn't ruin your hair in the process. Here it is. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to start from the top and work our way to... Okay, we can do that. I can do that. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to start with the front of our hair and start with the root and then we do the rest. Okay, I think I'm going to put on time lapse and we'll just do it that way. I've no idea what this is going to be like. Okay, so I have fully done all my roots. It's going okay. So I look great. This is where you look. I hope you like it. I am going to set a I'm going to set a five minute timer just because, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do ten minutes. I just want to make sure that my roots develop enough and they don't go like orangey. I've also, I forgot to mention this, purchased one of these. This is Touch Up Silver. This is normally what I use, but I normally use the shampoo version. This is a toning treatment mask. So if my roots go orangey again. I've got some, I think it's blue or purple shampoo for conditioner. So I'll only use this on my roots like I have been right now. And then hopefully that will like neutralize it. But I just want to make sure that I wear the right color. So ashy, I don't want ashy. I want golden, blonde, pretty hair. Okay, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling optimistic about it. Yay. Just occurred to me that I need to get some heat in here to keep, you know, the hair developing. Um... So here's what you do. Love it. Okay, so this has been on for officially 10 minutes. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> kind of doesn't look any different right now. Um, that's okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to do the rest of my hair then. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my roots are looking pretty orange and they look more orange than they did before, so. This is definitely worse. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this off and hopefully we're gonna come back and we're gonna be like, wow, what, what a transformation. Wow. Can't wait. I'll see you then. I see. Okay, I've just rinsed it out. I'm actually going somewhere, so I'm just gonna give you a quick ah. show. This is not completely dry, but um, basically we're back to platinum blonde, so that went. Um, well, but I'm not gonna lie, this is a much better colour than the the brown because it'll like poop on my head. But uh, yeah, the roots are still um, a little orangey, but that's okay because we can fix those really easily with that purple shampoo thing that I put somewhere. But I'm really not gonna get in, so I'm actually going out like this. So I'm just grateful that COVID is around and that you know we still have to wear masks. Let me show you from behind real quick. <laughs> 
in a rush. But yeah, I think it lifted so much because I've got loads of bleach in the, underneath my hair, so it's just like come through. It's okay because it still looks better than what it did, so yeah. So okay, it, it's, it's dark outside, so uh, I'm gonna have to do this in this lighting, but uh, it's okay. So I've been out like this. Um, I'm going to fix my hair by putting a hopefully a blue hair treatment on it, and then it should hopefully be just right. Keep it. We just blue is just correct. A small dog. And we had a discussion about him scratching no. at doors. It's very irritating, but here we are. So I'm gonna do that off camera though because the lighting is so bad. Like, look, this is horrendous. So uh, yeah, we'll I'll just off camera and then I'll show you, and then hopefully they'll be bye bye. It's what I predicted though. It sort of shunted that level at the root slightly higher and then just made the millips and ends blonder. Um, the, the toning mask, Provoke toning mask, I thought Provoke only did violet. They might do blue, I don't know. Um, her roots are orange, so if, if it's violet, they're going to do nothing. It's just going to, hopefully she doesn't get it on the rest of her hair because it's going to tone that even more platinum. Um, Maybe even grab a little bit, but on the roots, she she needs a blue because blue will counteract orange, and it's not going to match up. But we'll see. A orangey, whatever the hell's going on, roots, and um, hello, beautiful blonde lady. So we'll see. Okay, well this is the look, isn't it? It's something. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this on for five minutes. I don't really want for too long. Okay, a little bit because I don't think like the evening light is gonna do any justice. It's on the so. chin. See you soon. And here is the final reveal. Yeah. We rescued it, guys. We did it. It took what felt like forever, and it's took a lot of stress. Okay, this this almost didn't feel worth it. But now I'm looking at my hair, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're still quite warm toned, but I feel like it looks better with the warmer root, and then we have like the slightly warmer, more neutral ends. I feel like it looks a bit more like natural. But let me show you from the back. I definitely think this looks a million times better than what it was, at least better than what we started this video with. In hindsight, I probably should have just continued being platinum blonde and continued to bleach my roots, but um, here we are, it's fine. Uh, would I recommend using box dye? Yes, but only if you've never coloured your hair before. Uh -huh. I feel that's the only way it would ever go right. No. Yeah, don't, don't use it on already bleached hair. Stupid mistake don't do that so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like so she's saying that she um like oh use box dye if you've never colored your hair don't use it when you've had bleached hair she didn't use it on bleached hair she used it on virgin hair which is hair that's never had color on so if that isn't a big enough warning for you just don't use them um go to a salon especially if you're going blonder like i, I understand that box dyes are there for a reason and it's for all different budgets but you'll be so surprised at how much um salons how affordable salons will be um people are surprised when when they come to us and they're like what that's only you only get a full head color for that price it's like yeah it's like, oh. like i'm normally buying like three box dyes and and your your price is like nearly do you know what i mean it's nearly around that price it's like yeah so yeah well she says she loves it she says it's better she says it was more of a neutral tone her hair her hair is platinum her hair is very, very platinum and blonde. Um, her roots are, yeah, still orange. But, Jasmine, is that your name? Yes. But Jasmine, thank you for giving me this content. It was very enjoyable. Um, and I will tag you in this, in the description, so uh, you'll get to see it hopefully. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna find you on Instagram. I'm gonna ping this video across as well, because uh, I think you deserve it. And let's just see the comments. Your hair looks amazing, well done. Uh, welcome back, blonde Jasmine. Okay. Um, happy you managed to sort it out. I love it. Stunning. Oh, this is the, I just wanna, yeah. I don't understand this. Like, in the salon, if we did that to somebody, they would be fuming. And there's people in the comments saying, oh my God, it looks amazing, stunning, stunning. Welcome back to being blonde. Like, Jasmine, this is no dig at you at all. I've loved it that you've done it. It shows awareness as to not really do it. But um, 
I, yeah, this is one of the things I always find when I go through comments on videos and, and I see people sort of say, oh my God, it looks amazing. It's like, if I did that in salon, I would be lynched. I just don't get it. But anyway, again, if you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here, supporting the channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment down below, do it. Yeah, started doing my own sound effects. Right, see you in the next video.